boys the hundred and twenty five thousand dollar most feared tournament final four is tonight and i'm not part of it i'll show you why dummy is your madden ball Bro, what is up with these guys the super bummer dude. all right boys most feared tournament now this was about two weeks ago uh, you guys have watched the other games that I've won and earned tons of MCS points. Um, it is tough to get on here and show you the game that I lost, why I lost everything. What did I do? What did I do wrong? Why did I suck? Why am I not in the tournament anymore? Um, but we're going to do that right now. Here we go. The final four is tonight. If you're watching this live, this is a Wednesday, October 15th, I believe. Check me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I will be watch partying this live on Twitch tonight about 6.30 Eastern. The link is below for my Twitch if you guys want to get my thoughts on the Final Four. Let's get my thoughts on this game. We are moving on. We're playing Goose. Goose like the geese you see out there in, in the wilderness. The goose. That goose guy, Um, he's one of the best young players that's been coming up the last couple years. Definitely keep an eye on him to make some runs in these MCS tournaments, underground tournaments, everything like that. By having uh, about 140 seed or something like that and not a top seed, this is a tough matchup in the third round of the tournament. The last two matchups were definitely tough as well. You know, and this is the benefit of getting a higher seed, especially getting that top 32, but not doing too well in the ladders uh, leading up to this tournament left me in the, in the hundreds in the seed. So we're going to have a really tough matchup here in round three. So let's just get to it, boys. Here we go. This is the tournament here. Like I said, this was about two weeks ago. So the game is different. The philosophies are the same. You know, we're going to run a little bit of loop. We're going to try to loop a person. That's going to be one of our goals here. We get the ball first. Goose is uh, an experienced, a really good defensive player. That's kind of what his, his MO is here in the Madden community, a really like high pressure defensive player. And you see he comes out in the 6-1 early. Now, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to tell you right now, I have not played 6-1 this year that I thought was good. I don't think the pressure is really that good this year. Maybe once linebackers and D-linemen get 99 speed, it's going to be really good. But most people that I've played, when they run 6-1, it is a double Mabel, meaning it's going to be cover four. Uh, the linebackers will be in five-yard zones, and maybe they'll put their, their corners out here on 30-yard flats or 30-yard flats, whatever it may be. So for me, uh, it's always normally covers defense first play. We have nothing. We try to just quick snap. Hopefully he blitz. But like I said, we got two flats. We got a crosser, and he's got he's actually got match or man these guys up, and he's got five yards right here on purples. He's running to cover that, so everything's kind of bagged on the first play there. Second play, we're gonna run a little. This is what I love to run against double Mabel. It is a post. It's a deep attack. It's a post here. Take uh, Tyree Kill at the time. The fastest receiver is always normally in the slot. We're going to run him right down the middle of the field. You see him right there running right down the middle of the field. He's going to drop to cover this post. And I'm going to just dump it off right here to Calvin. Get up, get a couple yards, get a first down. That's what's important. You know, this is one of the main plays I like to run against Mabel because you're attacking the middle of the field rather than the outsides that are going to have double flat. So, and this is what you want to do. And listen, we're trying to run off and run a corner route here. And. This is once they back this guy off like that, you're thinking this is a cloud zone to take away Tyree Kill. Hopefully, I can do a whip route. But you're getting to a point where, yeah, he's due for a blitz here pretty soon. Exactly. That's what you call two plays of coverage. People mentally are due for a blitz when they run this type of thing. You know, some people have the discipline to play coverage every down. Some people don't. But and that was a great play. Get Gronk. We're inside the we're inside the 40 already. Uh, I like to slide away from this blitz and ID the uh, whichever way I don't slide. Here we go, motion over running back. We're looking for a running back wheel here. This is a three-man rush. I didn't really like it. I might have could have thrown it, honestly, but we're going to get some yards with uh, Andrew Luck at the time was the quarterback. Right now, I'm using Montana. You be the judge. Could I have thrown this ball to Bo Jackson over on the sideline? It's first down, first quarter. No read to really risk this. Does that corner break on it, or can I just pass lead it over to the sideline? Probably, but like I said, first down, we pick up eight yards. No need to really rush. No need to force anything there. On first down you, you save your forces for fourth down once again we're going back to that same combo I do earlier able to step up just beautiful uh, here you kind of and, and, and people ask about pocket all the time but you kind of like just see this guy shedding here and you got to just like as you're watching this and you, you slowly realize nothing's really going to be open when the play breaks down you just step up your running back helps you out and you're able to pick up a first down boom this is just keeping his momentum right here. We're looking for the tight end. This is going to be a clear off to Mike Evans, a wheel route for Gronk for zone coverage. Now, 
double Mabel just probably will not work, but I'll be able to hit the middle of the field. And once again, it's, it's double. Oh, it's actually man coverage here. He's got a flat here, a guy running to guard Gronk. I'm still able to high ball it, but we don't get a good animation. Now, maybe I don't got a high ball, but when you see that guy running over, you just got to be safe, man. You can't really like, once again, this first down, obviously I could lead it to the pylon right now and not high ball it. But, you know, like, it's a safe throw. High ball, me or nobody. And he doesn't get his feet in. We could have got an animation there where he toe taps, he doesn't jump. But we're on the wrong side of animation. Once again, a safe throw. Here, we're going to motion out. We're going to play. Hopefully, he doesn't double Mabel. Again, that's what I hope he does. He blitzes. That was my read right there, dude. If he blitzes, I'm just going to get rid of the ball. But if you guys look, he actually goes with a... Uh, I don't know if that's a hard flat or manned up. Yeah, that's what, what they'll do is they'll man up the outside corner on the running back. It might be a hard flat because he's lit up. It might be flat zone knockout or something. But that was a... Uh, you blitzed. I wasn't ready. Almost a throwaway. So we're going back to this play that I hit earlier. We're able to dump the ball off this time. Dive for the first down. Nice. Nice first down there inside the inside where the 11-yard line. Here's where I like to run, and we actually do pop a little run off on a stretch. We get five yards there. Here we're going to give the ball to B. John Robinson, who's a team captain. He's probably got 85 speed. Right now, what I wanted to do is run this end around. You guys saw in the other videos, but when they base a line like this, I don't think it's an option. So we're just going to hand the ball off to Bijan. He's not the greatest running back. Honestly, probably should have had another running back here. But, like, dude, I feel like we got to block this up. If 74 actually blocks this guy, we could walk in the end zone. But 74, like, peeled back and let him get an angle, and we get nothing on that run. Bijan gets a couple for us. The same thing. But I like that run. I did. That time we didn't get... That's, like, if you look back at this run here, it's the same run. Now, this is my, my philosophy here, like... I loved this look. I loved it. Love this look. I love this look. If 74 blocks the right way, we walk in. Or we, we got one-on-one -on -one with Deion Sanders. So then when we get to this fourth, this third down, I'm going to take the same look and expect that 74 blocks a little better. It's the same exact look, boys. So for me, it's like I'm going to get a better block by 74. Still not a good block by 74. And this time, we don't get to the linebacker. So... Uh, Hindsight, 74 is not going to block on that play. So, a tough drive. Good drive, but tough to get three in this game, man. Really, really tough. Um, he's in the tight slots, which for me is pretty much like the best. off One of the best offenses in the game right now. Uh, we're going to play a little bit of loop, but we're going to put a lot of deep blues out here. Try to bend, but don't break. Uh, that's crazy, but we got man coverage here. We got deep blues here uh so essentially i gotta somehow put a flat somewhere do something different here let's see if i do yeah so now i gotta i got a flat here i pretty much what i gotta do is trust these guys and i gotta lurk right to left so if the tight end goes drag if, if calvin goes post if jackson goes drag i'm going with those guys because if these guys go to the right i have a flat zone over here and i have deep blues all over now obviously i'm a little bit nervous if this guy can get there this guy get, we'll see and then that, that, that's why I just backed him up. Like, all right, you got it. I just don't want to give up a streak. And we are able to get out there. You see my lurk. Good defense, really. It turned out to be really good defense. We get a throwaway there. Yeah, this time we're just going to go straight loop. We're just, we're just trying to loop them. We're just trying to loop. We get no real pressure, but I like. And we get a catch over there to Calvin Johnson. Tough. No pressure. Cover zero is not going to get it done here. Motion's out again. When they motion out, most especially when you're in a pressure look, and this is why you should always have a pressure look, because more often than not, they're going to block the tight end because you have a pressure look. If you didn't have a pressure look, they'd send out all five. Now, this is my outside corner, and because he's too far to the inside, he no longer has outside corner assignments. So I can't put him in. A, I want to put him in a deep third, but I can't because he's too close. So this is pissing me off right now, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, God damn it, I have two purple zones right here. What am I doing? You know? But we get, a, we get a loop right there. And honestly, it worked out because <laughs> one of our purple zones actually bumps that guy. And what I think I do is I actually blitz a linebacker. Yeah, that's what I did. And we actually get a loop, and the purple bumped that guy. So it worked pretty well for us. All right, this time I'm going to put a third over here. We're just, like, freestyling a little bit. This is great defense. Oh, my goodness. Luckily, I got a bump right there. So we put a purple and we hoped he guarded the tight end, or at least we had pressure in time to guard the tight end, but 
Nobody really gets home. He has all day and try to hit the tight end there. Dion bumps him and he gets an out of pocket overthrow. That was that was that was a close one for sure. Um, there we go. flipping. I don't care. You know. The one thing about tight slots that I've learned, you know, and right there, it's like sometimes, especially you got to take the first drag. And right there, I didn't. I didn't guard the first drag right there. As you see here, like I could have, but I kind of just am playing safe because what I'm doing here is I'm pressing. So a streak is a touchdown. Now, if you guys have my ebook, madinturf.com, I talk about this stuff all the time. This guy on the tight end. On the tight end right here is Charles Woodson, I believe, at the time. If he blocks him, this guy will go to a third in the middle of the field. So I know I can press. The one thing about tight slots is one deep third can kind of cover all the streaks up the middle of the field. So if you have a deep third, you're good for, to press. And I feel like you need to press tight slots. So now if it was the other way, if the running back blocks, this guy will go into a deep half. So a streak up the middle could beat you. So that thing, that, that happens. But once again... Early in the game, I'm playing safe. So my user is going to, I'm like bailing. But you see the guy that's on the tight end is now into a deep third. So Tyreek Hill will be covered. Calvin will be covered. It's hard for me to trust that. So I'm bailing out with my user just in case I give up a quick streak or something like that. So I'm not able to run down and get this drag. But we actually get some good pressure. He's able to hit the drag though. Get a big play, almost 25 yards. So that's tough. So he's moving the ball pretty well down the field here. Now, this is the same thing here, is that I have a cross man on the tight end here, but he's on the right side of the quarterback here. So now, because he's on the right side, this guy, I believe, will go into a deep half. I don't know if it's all the way over on the field or he'll stay on his side. That's that's a good question. Let's see what he does. Oh, yeah, he goes all the way to the other side of the field. He gets another drag off. And these are things you know from playing a lot of man coverage and playing against a lot of cover zero. Like, what happens to the guy when you actually block like what happens to that guy's man coverage good defense here we force a throw away got to hold the three here man he held me to three so now we're playing a little bit safer we're rocking a little bit of cover four here i gotta worry about the corner route man i really do i manned up the corner route we're pressing the hell out of him he actually ran a corner back to a corner route to the other player but my guys did a good job in zone here cromarty on the right Dion the top safety but you see the zone played really good he's bumping him on the right side here Actually, really good defense by my zone right there. So we get a third and one right here. Could he possibly run? He hasn't run yet. He goes for a run here. And we, oh, man. Who is that? Is that Micah that couldn't, couldn't hold him out? So now we're inside the nine. Now, uh, this is the defense I've run all. Now, this is RPO. I know that. I know this is RPO every single time. I'm actually going to run commit and be a crab over here and try, <laughs> and try to lurk this RPO here. So we get a good run commit. Good job. Now, this has been my red zone defense all tournament. Even now, I go hard flat, hard flat, quarters on the outside, and I re, I re, -blue my, re yellow my safeties. We have a spy and a three man rush. So I have like deep back of the end zone. I mean, if you're throwing a dot to like the back of the A or the back of the S, it might be there. But I trust my I trust these guys. My safeties play really big in these yellow zones, and I got to play big with my user in the middle of the field. Good job, and we get a good shed right there. Third and goal. Now, I'm not going to run that same defense here. Here, we're just going to run baseline cover four. I got to worry about the corner route on the right. I'm probably playing the sticks with my flat zone, so they're going to drop all the way back, man. If you're able to hit a corner route, actually man up this guy. Really good job. And we're going to force the three here. So, two good drives by both of us, and we're almost done the half right here. I got a chance to really get some, get some points going in halftime. He gets the ball, so he sends a blitz. We block up everybody. We're trying to go up top to Tyree Kill, and we... Oh, we get an overthrow. That was tough. Man coverage. That's why we have Tyreek Hill. We had him at 91 speed for this. We get an overthrow there. Good read. I'm, I'll take that every single time. Now, I know in my mind he's not going to blitz every single play here. But he goes cover two, and we're able to pop him. This is corner strike. What's going to happen is this corner route this way is will take this safety this way. This C route will take this safety, just absolutely open up the void in the middle of the field. That's what it does to Tyree Kill. We have him at 92 speed. I will always try to have the fastest receiver possible here in the middle of the field. We'll just left trigger, free form it to the left, and you're just not going to run with Tyree Kill. Touchdown. Big play. Big play. That means we don't got to deal with the red zone. We don't got to deal with any of that. So 
But one of the things is we gave them a lot of time to try to score here. So for me, we're going to have to uh, make some plays on defense. Motion out. My guy goes out there. That's fine. Here we just have the same thing I had on a couple of those first plays. Zone. It's pretty much cover three, looks like. Um, deep half over there so we don't get beat by a slant. And we actually get a little bit of pressure here. And we get a big sack from LT off the edge. Love to see that. Second and 20. We get another sack, almost a safety. Third and 27, loving what I'm seeing right now. Third and 27, right here, right now. We got to get off the field. Uh, I don't really want to change my defense up because I don't want to. The thing about these situations is like if you give him a 15-yard completion, he's going to have an easier fourth down. And on offense, you're thinking, let me get half of this. Let me get 15 yards. Give me a shot. You know, it's almost a punt situation too. But when you're this close, it's like, tough and we get he goes up top we knocked the ball away almost caught it so fourth and 27 here he's going to punt so this is where i feel great dude i really do uh of course he has a great punt but this is where i can win the game right here i can win the game i can go get even three is 13 to three um here we go we're looking for the post right now we really are big play against coverage it is cover three. If I have time to... Oh, no. Not really. Not yet. Oof. It could have been a... It was cover four, but this dude was in a third. He goes here. And I have that crosser. Let me see if I could have played this play better. As far as pocket, as far as everything. Three-man rush. I'm in the pocket, dude. I don't know where his user went, but we get an overthrow right there. Poor accuracy. When you step outside the pocket, you get that sometimes. So, second and ten here. He calls a timeout. We're going back to that setup wheel route. Oh, no. We're going to flip. Just messing with him right now. I don't love this play because it's to the wide side, but we'll see how it works out. He blitzes everybody. Just throw the ball away. That's really not... I mean, it's good defense. Third and 10. We definitely got to get some yards to get a field goal here. Now, like I said, this game was about two weeks ago, so I don't remember everything that happened. Right there, we throw a pick. That's just a tough play. This is stick. Now, I want to just get some yards here. I really do. It's double Mabel. So, this is a 25, 20-yard cloud, a 5-yard purple. I know this is a 5-yard purple. I want to throw this ball just right, like almost like a curl right here. Right here. But he has Joey Porter Jr. makes a great play on it. Just a bad pass, man. It really is. I want to essentially throw it before he gets to the flat, to, to the sideline. Like almost at the numbers there. But you see, a purple will always play more inside than a flat. You can see that illustrated right here. Just how the flat is out past the numbers. And this, you know. But just not a good play. Not a good play to call. Not a good throw to make. When I had a chance to really take control of the game right there. Just tough. Uh, 13 to 3 would look great right now, but just tough play calls right there, man. And looking back at this game, man, that was a big part of the game to give those up. And we did, I mean, just give up that opportunity to take a two possession lead at halftime. That was a big, bad series of downs right there. After a game, I've been playing really well, especially on offense. Just have a bad series of downs, bad play calls, really. He's going up top right here, Cromarty. We're able to knock the ball out. That's what I mean about, like, when you play this, you see this safety over here really makes the play, really, Charles Woodson, because if it was just one-on-one -on -one right here, I mean, Cromartie, the, he, Calvin catches this. But that's what I mean about a deep safety can cover the entire tight slots. He makes the play. Is that Charles Woodson makes that play right there. So third and four right here. He's close to field goal range, 46, 56. This would be a 63-yard field goal, so we can't really get, let him get anything right here. So, quick out route, anything. And we get an over, though. That's huge. That's huge. Four seconds left. This is a tough situation right here. I'm actually going to come out in three deep. He could run the ball here. I'm pressed. Shade outside. Everything. Can't give up anything short. Great job right here. I actually used Michael Parsons. I don't care if you have all day to throw. The clock is over. This is the last play of the half right here. I'm on Michael Parsons. I'm standing by the goal line. I'll tell you that. He's actually going to get a... I mean, he's low-key gets a one-on-one -on -one here with me and Micah, and I actually have to make that play. 
Now, this is the downside of like, I don't know where my deep third is. I guess I don't know where the guy is that was guarding Tyreek Hill, you know, but somehow we wound up like this and I had to actually make that play with Michael Parsons. You know, if I'm not there, I don't think, I don't, I think that might be a touchdown. So we could have given up two touchdowns there, but I mean, my guys made plays. I made that play with the D lineman. So we could have been up two scores, but here we are. We're only up seven. That's a big run right here. I hate giving up runs. I absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate giving up a big run right there. That's almost a, what, 50-yard run right in the field goal range. It's too easy. Uh, my D-line right now is Micah, LT, and Bruce Smith. So that's good defense right there. That is the same setup earlier in the game where he hit the drag, but this time I trusted my guy on the tight end. Yep, exactly. See it? The guy on the tight end goes to a deep third, can stop Tyreek, can stop Calvin on a streak. I got to take the first read. I take the first read. He doesn't have time for anything else to develop. Kamardi did a great job in man coverage right there, too, on that press. So you got to really be cognizant of what side the tight end's on. That's the guy he's going to block. You got to really be aware of that. Like, this side, he will go into a deep half, Deion Sanders. See him? See him bailing out into a deep half. So this streak would be a touchdown. And it, and it absolutely is. It absolutely is two touchdowns we have on the field. See what I mean? And this is where I'm just not caught. It's tough to put him in a deep third because you still want him to guard a tight end if he goes with a quick flat route. So this is kind of, I mean, how the game's developing. But now the tight end's on this side of the quarterback, the right side of the quarterback. Now he'll go into a deep half. If he's in a deep third over the middle of the field, we're in the money here. But he's not. He's on a deep half because the tight end was on that side. And knowing that, I should have just put him in a deep third and then guarded the tight end myself a little bit here. I mean, he's blocking the tight end almost every play. <sighs> That's tough. That's just like the things within the game that you got to remember. And there's so many things going on in your mind defensively. So we got a tie game now. We're in a ball game. We're in a, we're in a battle. This is one of the better games i played all year, boys. Obviously, we lose. But <laughs> stay dialed. He goes with a blitz here. But we get an overthrow here, or we get a bad throw. Wasn't going to get a lot of yards on that anyway, honestly. I think he actually has flat zone knockout on those outside guys that'll make some plays. Here we go. We're going for that the streak again down the middle of the field. Uh, we have two short passes, two deep passes. We'll see. He just blitzed last play. So in my mind, I think he's double Mabelin. Uh, he's, he's got a deep third over the middle of the field. Beautiful. Not a 30-yard cloud over here. Probably maybe a 20 or... Something like that. So we're able to actually throw over him. You see it right there. We get a throw over him. Big play. Calvin Johnson. That's why I love those big body receivers on those outside guys for those corner routes. You can just throw over zones like that a lot easier when you got six five receivers out there. Right now I had Calvin and Mike Evans. So that's something I'm debating right now. Do I keep those guys? Beautiful play right here. I've run this combo a lot throughout this game. But it's just it's just drag, whip route, post. You know, he mans up the two outside guys. He's got the tight end. He has to guard the tight end here. So we go post over the middle. Just free. Calvin picks up a lot of yards. All right, here we go. Red zone again, man. We got to make some plays in the red zone. Love this combo. Beautiful spot. Beautiful timing. I've been doing stuff like this for 20 years, man. When you give somebody time... And you just have zone drops, man. These are just zone drops, meaning these guys will not move. Like, this is five yards. This is five yards. This is 20. These guys are stationed. Or maybe this, maybe this yellow zone is no no, uh, no drop because he's at 10 right now. Do you have These guys aren't really going to move. You just time it perfectly. Hit it right there. Beautiful possession catch. Great dot. Tyree kill inside the five. I said we got to get back to, like, we got to be able to score here, man. That's one of the biggest things we got to do. And he's not baseline here, so I think stretch is going to work for me. But let's just great defense, man. Just prepared for that stretch. Blows it up in the backfield. We lose yards. That's tough. So we got a second and goal in the 11. Back to some of the same combos. He blitzes right here. High ball Gronk. We get an overthrow. Probably wasn't going to catch it anyway. But here we go. Red zone again. Third and goal. Inside the 10 here. Here we go. Mmm. Nothing. We got to get another field goal. So, two possessions inside the five, inside the ten, inside the five even. 
not good enough. Simply not good enough, man. So those are potentially eight points we missed out on as we're sitting at 13 to 10 here. Uh, you know, and I, I talk about it all the time on my videos, on my streams, everything inside the 10, inside the five will win and lose you games. Uh, and we just simply weren't good enough. You know, as we get first and goal on the four, we lose two yards on a run and we're in like automatic pass situation. That's just, that's just tough. But I mean, you got to credit to him, man. There was some good red zone calls there, a blitz one play. He stopped the stretch for negative two yards. I mean, those are like big time plays being well prepared on defense and yeah, so that's tough. So now I'm no one's even on the tight end. So you see, I gotta go guard him. That's I stopped when the tight end's on this side. I'm not gonna guard him. We're gonna put a deep blue in the middle of the field. I got the tight end this play because I was not giving up that streak again. I got tight end. I got tight end. We got a great loop and we get a sack. So now I think when that happens, he's gonna block the tight end. He's gonna block the tight end, dude. He sends out that guy. So we're gonna probably half third. Yep, that's what we do. I will probably put a purple every time he does this. I do the same adjustments really. I don't have a... Oh, we did a purple on the left side. He calls timeout. Thank God. We were a little bit in shambles right there. Oh, that's a great... Oh, he didn't like it, though. That was a great route combo, really. But he got off because my lurk is on that right side. Like I talked about, when I have a lot of zones on one side, my lurk is on the right. But he has this... He has this... The whip route. I mean, I guess he got off it early because I was over there. But we're able to guard the running back. Fourth and 11 here. This is a... We get off the field here, boys. This is what it's about. We're, we might play straight man here. We might just go. Sometimes I dumb it out. No. We're going to run zone. Pretty much what I've been running the entire time here. Deep half. It's really about can we get a loop here? Can we get a loop, boys? Can the boys get a loop? Uh, oh, my gosh. So close. I think I sold out to this. Like, I, I kind of expected it, but, like, I just... A little bit too slow. I mean... Now, to tell you guys, I really am... The thing about Cromartie is pressing, but he shaded inside for that post route. So this was a great counter. And just a great throw, man. Just I could get a drop there. We got two people right there. And just... Oh, man, that's a tough play. Good defense. I, I mean, I committed to it. I, I mean, I didn't beeline for it, but I definitely committed to it. Could have been better better defense right there. Could have been better lurk. Steps up. We almost get a quarterback hit here. That's been fourth quarter, man. It's been a great game. Uh, we're up by three, so we're feeling great about that, of course, per usual. That time that post route. This is, this is what tight slots is, dude. It is a post route from that guy that's on a tight end. He's on a post, and then do whatever else you want. Great job, Joey Porter Jr., Good hit stick. All right, we got him inside the 20 now, boys. We got him inside the 20. And you know that the corner route is coming from... All right, we got double Mabel here. We might be on 30s and 5s like he's been doing. So this is good defense. Get a stop right there. Once we get inside the 20, you guys see I've gone to, gone to more zone, more coverage. I'm going to back all my coverage up here. 5s, 20s, 3-man rush. I got a yellow zone in the middle. So we should have everything covered here, man. The quarterback scramble is what's going to kill me. But a lot of times you hope that the quarterback scramble, you can actually get a knock, a hit on the quarterback. This was a great play that he did. Motions out, motions out, and puts an out route. He knows that's a fit, that's a big cloud zone. So what he does is throw a little out route and gets there before my five-yard purple can even get out there. So this is a play I've kind of tried to incorporate when people do this defense on me. So that's seven yards. So that's big time. And then he comes over here and does it again. Maybe I should have changed it, but I can't like, I don't expect Bo Jackson to make that catch right there. He goes inside zone right here and scores. Like I need somebody to fight a little bit. I got Palomalu out there. I got Micah Parsons. I'm shifted that way. Just nobody fights. He scores a touchdown. So damn, we're down by four, four minutes left here, boys. All right. This is a route combo that I've run a lot. I like this better against man. I mean, I, I don't know why I ever would run this against a zone player, but big play by Bo Jackson here. We've been peppering this. I had to streak that play too, but we'll, we'll go underneath the Gronk. Another big play. Three minutes left here, boys. Motion out, Mike Evans. 
Looking for the corner out here. See if he's still in double Mabel. We'll have a drag coming across. He is in double Mabel. I know he's not. He was in a little match, and we catch him. Big Mike. He's actually in match. And you can tell what these dudes are like flat-footed. So when they're flat-footed, they'll play zone a little bit, and then they'll turn into match. Uh, so I was looking for a corner route. I thought this guy was honestly in a squat, like a flat, like he's been most of the game. But once I see this guy match, I could probably throw this to Tyreek to the sideline. But once again, I'm, I'm anticipating this guy in a flat. So I see that. Then I just see this guy just gets such like right there. It's like, all right, that's Big Mike. We're highballing this. We're going up top. Although you got Kraus, you're just not going to get to the ball with Big Mike. Another reason to have the big receivers out there for your team. As we're able to get that field goal. Or we're able to get that touchdown. We go up by three. So this is the game. I'm up by three. Uh, not a bad lead. The thing about a three-point lead, boys, is that as he starts with a run here and we give up another decent run, man. Run defense has to be better here. But the thing about a three-point lead is that you have in your back pocket that they will kick a field goal to tie. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you play good enough defense, you can force to a field goal and you at least have overtime. Whereas if you're up four, they have no choice but to try to get a touchdown. So they'll be more aggressive. So I kind of mentally you got to use the positives of your situation. And that's one of the positives that I have here. He goes for a draw. He obviously wants to make this the last drive. And that's the two-minute warning. So, if we go to overtime, he wants to make this the last drive of the game. You know. So, we're trying we're trying to just... Ra There's nobody on the tight end right now. I have nobody on him. It's just a deep third in the middle of the field. Great defense right there. Great. We did a great job on Calvin. Second and ten. Everybody's open on that play. Palomalu, good tackle. Sometimes running. Third and four. Good play, sending out everybody. He, I mean, like I said when the tight end's on this side, I have to put my guy in a purple and a deep blue. This time he quick snaps and actually catches the tight end. Big play. Gets inside field goal range. So now he's in field goal range. Now I just like, let's like hold him to a field goal, right? Like let's go to overtime. I'm cool with that. Love a good game. Love a tight game. So right now we're we're. Uh, just trying to keep the ball in front of us. Corner route might have been. He might have been able to high ball that corner route. He gets 10 yards on a drag. Gets out of bounds. So, our back is up against the wall here, boys. It really is. But, hey, at the end of the day, like I said, he will kick a field goal. So, we do have time. We do have that in our back pocket. Good defense here. Oh, we get the ball in the fumble. Oh, my gosh. What a recovery right there. As we'll watch that again. What a recovery. Vita Vea, I put in for the run, and he gets a huge recovery. We could have gotten it. It would have ended the game. It would have ended the game right there if we get that recovery. That's tough. Forgot about that. All right, I got to move that guy. All right. We're, we're good. I feel like we're good right here. I feel like we're good. I feel like we're good. We're in all-out coverage right now. Drag. Make a tackle. Make him use a timeout at least, or the clock is running. 26 seconds left. Like I said, back pocket. I know he will kick this field goal. Motion's out again. We're good. I'm cool with where we're at right now. Corner route pick. Oh, he catches it and gets out of bounds. Now he's on the seven-yard line. Now we're in a bad spot. He's glowing. This has been my same defense. I, I, I Listen, I will die with this defense. I really like it uh, so far. So we got three-man rush. We got a spy. We got a lot of coverage on the sideline. We got two yellows in the middle of the field. Two yellows. First down. And, and we've had a lot of the situations. So I know the dots he likes down here. I really do. Goes with a cross. He's got nothing on that play. Throws the ball away. Loved it. And this play, uh, like I said, same thing. We're going to crash our line. I don't want him stepping up in the pocket. That's the one thing. Because then he can run for, for uh, whatchamacallit. So we're going to spy, I think. And we actually man up the double me. That's that's why. If I put a spy, I'll crash out. But the double me, I manned up. I don't want any fluky double me stuff happening. So we double him. We crash our line down. I don't want him step to the line. And I have to worry about the quarterback scramble. So he runs this play here, and he gets to the sideline. Touchdown for the game. Now, in hindsight, I wouldn't. I would have crashed out, so he didn't, couldn't roll out like he did here a little bit. You know, once you get here, like I said, I have a hard flat. I have a quarter that I would. I wanted to be out here. Like I, I, it's a quarter zone. It's not a half. It's not a third. It's a quarter. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is a great play that his, that his Tyree kill ran all the way across the field right there for him. All right, that's an absolutely great play. Uh, I said, we get no real rush. 
we had a double to double me we got a hard flat we got a quarter we got a yellow zone here i try to run all the way but i just bump them and just sean taylor's looking slow this game can't lie boys 89 speed sean taylor's looking pretty slow but this is just a great play and the fact tyree kill doesn't bump into nobody doesn't hit the back of the end zone doesn't run stupid anything like that it's just it's borderline lucky he runs all the way and gets that play. Like I, I, it's the first time I've seen these quarter zones play that bad. As he has Keenan Allen on a streak here, I guess that's where he goes. But to squat in the quarter like that, just, just tough. It's just tough, man. So we're down by four. We're, I mean, we're cooked. Twelve seconds left. We're gonna fair catch that. We're on a twenty-five yard line here. He's come out an all-out blitz. It looks like, you know, we're gonna try to hit the as he goes offside. So. We're going to try to hit the running back on a wheel route somewhere. Oh, we, we're trying to hit a deep post here. We'll dump the ball off the wheel route. Get the worst animation ever right there. Literally the worst animation. Like, this is like a low-key uh, unlucky thing. It's like, dude, he's all out blitzing. He has three. Like, you guys know how the game works. Juke, We could juke our way for a touchdown, but we catch the ball and roll so where I can't even juke. Like, we could have caught a juke right here on Sean Taylor, and who knows what happens. We have Energizer on Bo Jackson. I mean, he has set six people blitzing. We could juke him, get a block. It literally could be a touchdown. Literally could be a touchdown. But I catch the ball and spin and cannot juke. And we got we get out of bounds. We call a timeout because I didn't know if I got out of bounds. I love this play. It is It will work on a bomb. It's the same play I just ran. We're going to just dump the ball off here to Tyreek Hill. We get a little bit closer. So we got one second. He's going to come out more in an all-out blitz. Uh, you're looking at it. Streaks corner. Streak in one corner. And we get disengaged. I mean, I don't think we had too much life right here, but to get a disengage there for the game, tough. Super tough. Boom, boom. Left side, you see, just 56 does nothing. Gronk right down the middle might have had life. You know, even a corner route might have had life pass. Who knows? At least I was doing it to Calvin, though, one-on-one, -on -one, or at least two-on-one. -on -one. Who knows, boys? But there it is. All right, boys, there it is, man. We're out of the tournament. We got popped. I mean, looking back at the game, like I said, this is two weeks old. So I had to think, and, like, really, when it comes down to it, it was inside the 10. He scored two touchdowns inside the 10. I settled for two field goals inside the 10. I got big plays. My two touchdowns were both streaks from maybe 50-yard line, real big plays. Got to be better inside the 10 going forward. Got to work on that. Got to be less predictable, better inside the 10. That's what that game came down to, man. We could have got some stops. We could have really took control of that game right before half. That hurt us too. But GG's to my man Goose. Like I said, he's one of the best players, young up-and-coming players in the game right now. Check him out for sure. And check out this watch party tonight as we watch the final four of this tournament. Let's see how they're playing. There's been a patch between this game and what's going to be played tonight. So we'll see what they got. Did they cook up anything new in this two weeks that they've been waiting to play the most feared tournament, boys? Like I said, thanks for showing support. Tough L to go out on, but it is what it is. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe. We're closing in on 60,000 subs, boys.